Hello everybody, my name is Dev and welcome to a tutorial. This is the first tutorial I have on my channel and for many of you it's the first time you're hearing my voice. And I hope there are many other tutorials on my channel. Alright, so let's get started. This tutorial is on uh, clip syncing on Black Ops 3, obviously. And it is going to be a pretty basic syncing tutorial, but at the same time it's going to be advanced because I'm going to be using a lot of hotkeys that people have just started wanting to understand. So if you want an extremely basic tutorial, just leave a like and comment and I'll get to that. Alright, so let's get started. Here we have our song already here and I've marked out some beats with some markers and we're going to give that a listen. Alright, so that's basically it for the song. Now we're going to drag our clip in from over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to sync up the first shot with the, with the second beat I have marked here. So what we're going to do is drag that until we see, alright so he misses that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the one that he hits and we're going to mark that there. Split the clip there and what we'll do is we'll start that there. Alright so that means the first shot is synced up, hold on let's just turn off the audio tracks for our clip. And we're going to mark this and we're going to find the next shot. And we're going to split that there. And the next one is about about there, so we'll split that there. Remember, I'm doing this roughly for a tutorial. We want this to be quick. All right, so then we're going to split the next shot. I just completely missed it. There you go. Um, I think there's one more shot in here, so this one will go. Let's, okay, so let's just get that. Bam, the gunshot is there. Now, what we want to do is... Uh, take all of these and sync these up to the different beats. Unfortunately this is a very fast clip and this part of the song is not extremely fast so it might not fit completely but for tutorial's sake we'll go with it. Uh, so we've marked out all those and what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this clip right there which means, hold on, let's just save this and which means what we have right now is this. I'll wait for that to render out. Alright, so that's all we've got so far. It's nothing much because we haven't actually done any syncing. Now, on to the next part. What we've got to do now is um, we're going to use Twixter for this tutorial. So, what we're going to do is um, this clip right here, we're going to Twixter that. And I have my own animation preset for this. So, if you want that, I'll leave that in the description. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the speed at 200 here and on the beat before the shot, no, not the beat, keyframe before the shot, we're going to add another 200 right there. Now let's just go up 10 keyframes, or 20 depending on the song. Yeah, 10 to 20 keyframes for this song, and we'll put it at 50. This is only for Black Ops 3, I only do this for Black Ops 3, so don't get confused here. So we're going to go, actually, only 10 right now. So we're going to do that. Now what we want to do here, this will make it fairly slow but it will speed up at the end, which I really like the look of, especially for Black Ops 3. So let's just grab this, drag these out, right, let's just play that back. Okay, so that doesn't look too bad, does it? Actually, we're going to try and do 20, see how that looks, see if it looks any better. Remember, editing is all about trial and error, so it doesn't matter if you keep watching it over, making it look really good, so just do that if you have to. Okay, so that looks a bit better in my opinion. Looks a bit smoother. Now, what the beauty of Twixter is, you can just copy the keyframes. Never copy the settings of Twixter because it will crash your After Effects. I would demonstrate, but I don't fancy my After Effects being crashed right now. So now what we're going to do is the keyframe before the shot, and for this one we're going to go 10, because I think it'll look good with this one, just like that. Now let's just check this right here, okay, now let's just watch that one through. Time is 
I don't mind the look of that at all, run out. Uh, so I'm not going to be watching the rest through because I can pretty much tell by eye what it's going to look like. Uh, but you guys probably should if you're new to this, so ideally you don't really want to be showing much scope in at all. But some people prefer to see the clip more unedited so you can see exactly where the people are and stuff like that. But anyway, this is our last clip and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the 200 keyframe at the end and drag this out a bit. Now let's just check the graph editor and let's just, alright that thing, I think that'll look good. So what we're going to do now is RAM preview that. Now, in my opinion, I think that looks pretty solid. There are probably a few little tweaks you can make to make this look a bit better, but for a basic syncing tutorial, I think that is pretty damn fine. So anyways, guys, uh, I've been Dev, thanks for watching. I'll leave the file in the description along with the clip and the song. But anyways, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Dev, and I'm signing out.